Anyway, it's time for Peko versus Vivi. It will be a good set, to be sure. Brought to you by John Numbers. The dulcet tones of John Numbers. And Peko is using uh, Pokemon Trainer this time. That'll be good. <laughs> you can do Three, two, one, oh yeah, go. let's get it started, baby. With some rockin', with some rockin' uh, King of Fighters music. I assume it's from. I didn't check the. Uh, I didn't check the title name. A little more busy work from me. Before I actually get to commentate. It. Gotta make that tweet every time, after all. Now, as far as this matchup goes, it's not super bad for either player, for either character. But I'd say the main issue here is that VV has a lot of experience with Pokemon Trainer. And I do feel like that's going to be a uh, struggle, um, a struggle that Peko has to face whenever they want, whenever he wants to use uh, Pokemon Trainer, just because everyone does have a good idea of what the matchup is. Like we have Noku, we have Devin running around. That's that's two Pokemon Trainers, and sometimes Quid, who doesn't come anymore, but there was Quid. But there's no shortage of experience for Pokemon Trainer, that's for sure. But as far as the base matchup itself, Pokemon Trainer can definitely square off with Hero. They just need to be careful about that. All the kinds of different spaces that Hero can cover. Because while I mentioned earlier that uh, Pokemon Trainer can struggle against projectile campers, Hero isn't really on camper more than he is a, oh, I've got a sword and incidental projectiles that I'll throw at you every once in a while. What's going to be most important is who can control the mid-range better in this kind of a character matchup. Forward air, forward air. You can't be letting Hero get those psycho combos. Here he comes! Yeah, down air? That combo is nasty. Forward to Ariel, but he's not dead yet. Hey, he's dead. Yeah. He can take the game on. Just overall, very good chases from Vivi. I do understand why Pekka wants to try Pokemon Trainer, mostly just because... It's not that Diddy is a bad character or anything. Far from it. But, in my opinion, I feel like Diddy kind of lacks that, like, explosive X-Factor that a character kind of needs to succeed in Ultimate. And you don't necessarily need it to succeed in Ultimate, but I feel like you're going to fall behind if you're fighting a character as explosive as Hero without that kind of X-Factor. But Peko's going to throw a cost in the wind and give it a shot. We'll see how he does. Devin's PT is fun to play with. Yeah, you can see, you can always see Devin like trying his best to learn things as you play against him. I do wish him the best of luck in all of his future endeavors. Anyway, matchups be damned, you can definitely tell that Peko feels a lot more comfortable using uh, Diddy. Although, there is the, uh, there's the Psych-Up. No Psych-Ups yet. Yeah, you definitely want to feel pressure to rush Hero down, because you don't want him to, like, pull another Psych-Up. You don't want Vivi to just pull another Psych-Up. And the only way they're going to get it is the next time they win neutral. So realistically, not losing neutral is the most important thing you can do against Hero right now. And you can see that Peko's doing his best not to let that happen. And not a big combo. It's 
surprised uh, Vivi didn't go for, like, down smash. Uh, he just chopped the monkey! So here's the main issue of this matchup. Vivi got their kill relatively easily. They got a hit, they got a good confirm into something strong, because Hero has no shortage of strong moves. Diddy Kong has a few strong moves, but everything is, like, specialized. You really have to set up into the kill with Diddy in this game. And against a character like Hero, who can just sometimes accidentally kill you, that's going to be hard to, like, fill the gap. It's going to be hard to close that gap. <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. I can see Peko looking for solutions. You can tell from the way. Nice two frame. Yes, that is a two frame Peko's been going for a lot more and finding success with. It's, it's a two frame, all right. The hitbox on Rocket Barrel Explosion is absolutely massive, so it's not the stupidest thing. It's not the dumbest thing to do. And Vivi's been using the down air more often to escape uh, disadvantage as well. Um, Hero's down air, it's not super active, but it's more active than you think. So it is surprisingly decent as a uh, landing option. Not amazing, but decent. No menu options. Do I? Oh my god. Killed him with a meatball. Vivi takes the set. With a handsome performance. Very funny looking kills too. Just chucking the monkey. And stabbing the monkey. This was a clean kill. Hitbox on this is gigantic. Look at this. Look at Diddy. He's just like, yeah. I'm Diddy. Hoo-hoo. Kaboom. Yeah, people get hit by that surprisingly often just because... Um, I'm just going to put it into be right back. <laughs> people get hit by that surprisingly often just because, you know... Hero doesn't bust it out too often. It costs a lot of mana. It doesn't do a lot of shield damage. It doesn't poke very often. So it really only works as a surprise a surprise projectile. It's like, oh, here it is. Anyway, good set from Paco and Vivi.